in the days of old. Where do we come from? How was the world made? Why do we exist? And who or what made us? These questions has always bothered every civilization, culture, religion, tribe, and humans that exist on this planet, and will still be asked by those that are here to come. Every ancient civilization from different parts of the world has had their own creation myth, from the belief that the universe was created by the gods, to the Middle Ages monotheist belief that the universe and man was created by God, from the Big Bang theory to the Darwin's theory of evolution, and the theory that humans were created by ancient aliens. Here at the days of old, I will be discussing about the creation myths of Asian civilizations. The most Asian civilization recorded in history is the Mesopotamia, meaning land between two rivers. It covered most of the modern day Iraq, Kuwait, the northern parts of Saudi Arabia, and parts of Syria and Iran. They had many creation myths, but the most popular one is called Enuma Elish. In the beginning, there was nothing but two gods, Apsu the primordial fresh water and Tiamat, the salt water. Out of these two came all that gods, their first son, Mumu, the mist, between Apsu and Tiamat, then Ginku, Maduk, Inanna, and other gods. The gods became so much and troublesome that Apsu decided to wipe them out. Here, yeah, Apsu's grandson, the wisest and strongest of them, discovered Apsu's plan, so he fought and killed him, so the gods could live. Tiamat wanted revenge for the death of her husband, so he commanded Ginku, a champion, to wage war against the gods and avenge her. Ea was not strong enough to take both Ginku and Tiamat together, so he had his son, Maduk, assist him. Maduk was able to slay both Ginku and Tiamat, so he became king of the gods. Out of Tiamat's body, he fashioned out the heavens, at the stars, trees, and stones out of her bones, and put Tiamat's defeated followers to work mining gold and all kinds of hard work. As time went on, the defeated gods grew weary of the body, so they complained bitterly to Maduk, asking him to free them. Maduk created man from Kingu's blood to work the yoke of the gods. The Mayan civilization, which was located in today's Mexico and some parts of Central America, believed that in the very beginning, there was nothing but the vast still space and the deep primeval waters. Then six feather gods landed on the waters, Zamna, the creator, Tepil, Mukin, Kukulkan, Jack, and Xichel. The first gods created other gods. The gods planted the tree. Yumkax, the god of the forest, who created plant life, after which the animals were created. After some time, when the time for the gods to live at drew near, the gods wanted a creature that could carry on their work, take care of the planet, serve them and also worship them. So they made the first version of man from mud. Mud man did not last long as he falls apart every time, so he perished. Then the gods created woodman from wood, but they didn't have a soul and didn't worship the gods, so they were destroyed in a flood. Then the gods, after long consultation of each other, they decided to use maize to create man. The result was a man that had all the qualities the gods wanted, so he lived and served the gods. Maize is a staple food of the Mayans to today. The ancient Chinese people, specifically southern China, believed that in the beginning, the vastness of space was without order, dark, chaotic, and without life. Pangu, the creator, a hairy giant dwarf, came into existence inside a huge black egg and slept for 18,000 years, balancing his feminine energy and the masculine energy, after which he hatched. While coming off the egg, he stretched the shells separating heaven from heart with the upper shell as the sky and the lower one as the heart. The further he grew, the further the sky from the heart. He lived for 18,000 years, creating art geographical features, 
which includes plants and animals, with the help of four mythological beings, the phoenix, the giant turtle, the white horned tiger, and blue dragon. After he died, humans came from his carcass to live and dominate the earth. The Vikings from northern part of Europe had the Norse mythology. The version of how the universe was made begins with the vast empty darkness between Mosfellim, the place of raging fire, and Niflheim, the place of full size. These two elements met in empty space and formed me, the giant, and Admula, the cow. When me slept, other giants came from his body. Adumla licked the eyes and uncovered Boa, the father of all gods, which grew in physical strength and magic, and ruled over the other gods. As the gods and frost giants grew in number, they needed all the space the great giant makes was taken, so they decided to murder him, and out of his body, they created the earth. This became the seas, his bone, the mountains, and trees. Then the gods made the first man and woman, Ask and then Blah, out of the trees. There is also a creation story from the Egyptians. In the beginning, there was nothing but darkness and the vast waters called New. Then out of New came a bright egg, from which Atum or Ra, the sun god, emerged. After many years of lone existence, he produced two children by masturbating Shu, the god of air and Nephnot, the goddess of empty space. They married and produced Jeb, the god of earth or land, and Not, the goddess of the sky. Ra's first children, Shu and Nephut, soon got lost, so Ra wept for them. And wherever his tears fell, men and women of all different kinds emerged. Jeb and Not gave back to four gods, Osiris and Isis, the god and goddess of fertility and Seth and Nephthys, the gods and goddess of chaos. The Greek creation might also had the universe that was dark and empty with no life in it. Then suddenly there was light. Out of the light came the goddess Gaia, the mother of earth, and Uranus, the sky god, the god Tartarus, place of the damned, Elysium, place for the good spirits and other gods, titans and monsters. Gaia and Uranus had six sets of twins who married each other, Cronus and Rhea, who were the source of the Greek gods. Uranus ate some monster children that Gaia had and threw them into Tartarus, so Gaia sought her son Cronus to avenge her children. Cronus chopped off Uranus' penis and threw him into Tartarus. Cronus soon received a prophecy that his children would dispose him as he had done to Uranus. Uranus swallowed his children as soon as they were presented to him after their birth because of the prophecy he received. When Zeus was born, Rhea presented a rock to Kunos and instead had Zeus raised by Gaia, the mother of art. When Zeus grew up and learned of his siblings, which include Artemis, Poseidon, Hades, Demeter, Chiron, he tricked Kunos into vomiting his siblings who had already grown up inside him. Zeus, his siblings, and their followers fought a war against Kronos and his followers. After a very long time, Zeus won and had Kronos imprisoned in Tartarus, so he became the leader of the gods and titans. The gods began to feel hurt, and later, Zeus summoned the titan Prometheus and his brother Epitimus. Prometheus made men, and Epitimus made the animals.